Okay, it's 12.15 on a sunny afternoon. I'm going to fish this river. Um, I'm going to be using the Wasatch Tenkara um, middle fork. This is the 6.4 version. I've reviewed the 7.3 version in the past. But this is the 6.4 version. I've got a number three level line on. It's 290 centimeters in length. And with the tip, it comes in about 360 centimeters long. I'll likely be fishing this rod in its um, 360 centimeter length, mostly on this creek. But I might have to collapse it down one segment. We'll just see. The air temperature is 74 degrees. We've got a upstream breeze that seems somewhat variable. And uh, I haven't measured the water temperature yet. Um, the river is flowing at 120 cubic feet per second, which is higher than I prefer it. But uh, can't do much about that. So we'll see what we can get out of here today. There we go. I've got a pink squirrel kabari on right now. It is unweighted. I might have to go to weighted flies though, but uh, with this current, a nice little brown. Right there. I've got a number three line on, and it's probably a little light for this rod. Um, even though this is reported as a 6 4 action, it feels stiffer than that, and I think the numbers bear that out that it's really stiffer than, than a real 6 4. It's also quite hip tip heavy for its length when it's fully extended but uh, I think that's to be expected since Tenkara since Wasatch Tenkara rods really builds their rods um, to be robust and not break I'm finding it a little bit difficult to cast in a uh, you know in a finesse pattern I can get the I can get the fly where I want it to go but it's just not uh, beautiful That's a better sized fish than the last one, I think. This one's about 14 inches. The rod is very strong because of its stiffer action. You can just hold the, hold the fish in the current. I switched over to a, a um, number eight gnarly hopper. 
and uh, the rod throws it better than it did the than it did the smaller fly. There we go. So this rod seems good for if you're not in a real finesse situation, um, throwing if you're going to throw larger flies, um, then uh, looks like this rod will perform pretty well. Little brown. Oh, and he's off. That's just fine. I'm not that worried about getting these fish in to hand. little one that looks good Gnarly hopper seems to be working well. a good fish. I'm just in a really bad spot to fight him. to hand it to this rod. Went over my head and around the back into that strong current. But, uh, yeah, handled handled this brown really well despite getting into the main current so nice big fat brown from over there
little one. little brown Good fish, big cutthroat. If we can see if we can surf him up over the current. Nice fish, that's 16 inches. I lost my hopper in these trees, so I put on a giant kabari. And he took that on the downstream swing. Nice brown. Yeah, nice brown. Taken on the giant Kabari. That's a good fish, taken out of a difficult place. Nice brown. Off he goes, from right over there. That was a challenge, we got some snags coming down here I didn't want to get, but uh, I cast over by that rock and then did a little bit of sasoy, which got these, I suppose, got these big, these big hackles going, and he exploded on it. That was nice. Well, it's a good way to end. It's two o'clock. Um, the water temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. So it's been good. Um, a couple things that I've learned today is Number one, even though the water's higher than I, than I like to fish it, like I said, it's at 120 cubic feet per second. Um, I prefer this, to fish this stream at under 100 cubic feet per second, but still, I caught some nice fish, or hooked quite a few nice fish for sure. Larger flies work better than smaller. And uh, as far as the rod goes, again, it's, it's a little tip heavy, but if you hold it up here at the top of the handle, instead of my preferred area, which is down at the butt of the handle, it's not too bad. <coughs> it throws larger flies on a number three line uh, better than it does the smaller flies. If, if I had a furled line on, or maybe a heavy 
heavier floral carbon line like a three and a half or four that might be completely different <coughs> but it certainly handles the fish in really strong currents I don't even have to worry about the rod breaking so it's a nice rod and uh, I'll keep it around for situations like this where I'm just too concerned about breaking my Japanese rods um, or maybe um, when I have somebody who's a, new to Tankara I wouldn't really worry about them destroying this rod so anyway that's it for today